Thank you so much, Ryan. All right, stream, you guys should be all back up, and you should be hearing my lovely and non-crackly voice whatsoever. Game number one went to funk. Game number two, we're running to Fountain of Dreams. And uh, let's see uh, how this game goes. And there's a... Uh... Oh, that forward smash clangs. That's so unfortunate, but... Okay, Zen, everyone wants to know. Is this Hank money match going to happen? Or do, you not, do you not know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Hank thinks your commentary is bad. Ooh, yikes. That's uh, That feels bad. And uh, we were wondering if you're gonna, you guys are going to money match. So Hank and I actually have a few games under our skin, and Hank has decidedly trounced me every single time. Uh, the Sheik Ditto is bunk, and he's just really good at it, and I'm not. So, uh, no, I'll just take the criticism, and I hope, uh, you know, he can tell me what he doesn't like about it. But exactly. I'm not going to, uh, I'm never going to be able to please everybody. So, mm -hmm. it's one of those things where I'm doing the best commentary that I can. I'm trying to practice and learn games. Mm -hmm. And I come here every week just to try to get better. And I try to bring other people on that are much better at the game than I am to learn more about it. So. That's good. As long as you're, like... Like trying to learn. He's like Hank just saying that he doesn't like your commentary doesn't help anything. He's gotta like tell you what he doesn't like. Oh yeah, and there's plenty of things that I don't do well. Like I think my solo commentary is really bad actually. But regardless, uh, moving back to the game, uh, despite this being Sebi's counter pick, uh, uh, Bird is flying right now. Uh, yeah, Funk's playing pretty good. These uh, platforms and shield pressure with you know shines and dares and just the laser approaches. Like here, Sebi dashes back just a bit, but um. There's been three other instances so far where he's come in with a laser, shined, and then dared the shield. And the only thing Funk can do is up B. And, uh, sorry, the only thing Sebi can do is up B. And Funk has been able to uh, actually kind of call out those a little bit and just get things going. Like right there, he shoots the laser and actually clangs with the up B. Uh, strange interactions there. But it feels like, I really wish I had like the stats from Slippy on this too. Just to see how much damage Sebi actually does with a, uh, like, screw attack or something. But, as I'm saying this, uh, you know, Sebi, from being a whole stock down, has brought it dead even on the back of, like, eight or nine different screw attacks. But, Ooh. oh my gosh, that was such a weird, like, clip between Bear. It was like a soft hit Bear that traded with a up B, I think, and said just the easiest dare of his life. So, if I'm uh, Falco here, double laser from ledge, and I want to get as much percent as I possibly can. I want at least 35%, which he's going to get and more. So I know Falco wants to get Samus above like around 50 or 60%, then a lot of his moves will actually start knocking down, or it's harder for Fal or Samus to crouch cancel. I think that's what... Okay, so one of the things that I think makes Falco so good in this matchup is that uh you can't crouch cancel with down air i think that's it's actually just busted like i don't think Big falco should like what? oh my god oh, is he dead near near oh. no he choked he, okay okay he, he teched it and yo sakurai so he could have just so he could have dropped from ledge and like reverse nared him and just like up oh oh i was so unfortunate for Sebi. i can't believe he didn't grapple on that oh he just was over oh i thought he hit it Yo, well, Funk's gonna take that 2-0. Oh. If he didn't tech that, he would have lost. So good, uh, good tech for him. That be goes Dreamland. So should I, uh, you know, if if usually if people think that you're bad at something, you know, you say, oh, okay, so you think that I'm better at you at Smash, right? So I'm gonna money match, right? Uh -huh. Well, if you think that I'm bad at commentary, should we like money match into the commentary? Isn't that how it works? That'd be funny. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be, I, would, I don't know how that would work, but... That'd be pretty funny. Uh, we're just trying to yellow each other the whole time. Yeah. Alright, so, um... Hank's over here talking about... Oh, I got a Hank story. One day, or it was just one day, we were in, like, we have, like, a group chat with a bunch of people, and Hank's in it, and one day Hank's just like, why does my sweat taste like buttered biscuits? <laughs> Alright. Um, let, let's hold the stories. Let, let's hold the story for, uh... I think his commentary would be amazing. It would be. Let's hold the commentary, or the story for just after this game. 
As uh, Sebi, now this is uh, two sets that I've seen him lose a game, and then instead of running it back to Fod, he runs it here. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure if he should just be coming here all the time, or if he thinks that, like, you know what, Fod is better, but if I can't win on Fod, I should try this. Um, either way, it's, it, working. it's working. He's two stocks up. Um, I think I would like to see him, like, just kind of come here more. Just first pick it, right, as your main counter pick. Hold your, you know, favorite stage as, like, your reserve, you know, for your final counter pick after, you know, you win their counter, right? Yeah. It's like Dreamland is better than Fountain in the sense that Samus lives forever. But I think, like, uh, I think it's easier to recover on Fountain for on sure. Fountain and, uh, Maybe just like supply form. Yeah, you like can how cover. Can we were talking earlier, so you can cover like everything. You can basically cover everything with an up tilt if you're in like the middle and the platform isn't too yeah, high. Yeah, also you have like, uh, you can like ledge cancel off the platforms with Samus's up B out of shield. Alright, so Funk, uh, trying to stay in this is gonna have uh, two stocks to get through though with only with 25% on him already. Uh, and every percent hurts right now. In fact, I think that's oh, over. Yeah. MS I, that was, that was I think you have to DI out the up tilt. Uh, yeah, instead of DIing out the forward smash like he did. <laughs> he, he, just a little slow. But Sebi's on the board. Two games to one. So we go Pokemon. The stage. So why not FD? I mean, FD's good. Uh, if I'm Falco, I like Yoshi's the most. Well, sure. Which I'm... is like because I feel like Samus kind of sucks if Falco can pressure her a lot and uh, Falco can get those early kills off the top, with double shine. I yeah. Mean, I mean, here you have more room to laser if Funk's willing to play that game, but Sevi can also do like the platform canceled missiles. Yeah, that's easily. what I'm most worried about. Is that those these platforms are at the perfect height for you know the soft missile, hard missile, uh, and but you know some of it's also player preference. Uh, Funk came here and won couple games against Mint and ABAP earlier today. So, you know, maybe it's just like a like a comfort zone, right? Also, uh, this transformations have all are all better for Falco. Oh shoot! Is this uh is this frozen? Yeah, let's hope not. No. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was 45 seconds in for some reason. Um because, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Because I was going to say last week, there's an issue with uh, it being frozen. Frozen Pokemon. Yeah. In my opinion, it should be replayed. <laughs> Still salty? Um, I won, so. But I think I think it's kind of unfair because it does counterpick Sebi here, and it was frozen. Yeah. And the, I mean, the transformations could have changed everything. Uh, so, uh, once again, Samus starting to build a lead here, uh, and not, uh, you know, it's not insurmountable for sure, but every percent, you know, Bird, God, Bird hates percent. I think there's few characters that hate percent more than Bird. Maybe Puff? Uh, yikes. Falco <laughs> can just die, like, so early if he DIs one thing bad. Like, a missed DI knee just kills at, like, 20. And like I don't know if he gets like for like on the last game where he like got, got forward smash and just uh, died immediately because he didn't di it properly. So Sebi, it feels like has started to play around these lasers so much better. I have not seen any good like shield pressure or uh, laser pressure. <laughs> he finally avoids one of those charge shots. Yeah, usually I heard Sebi's got like hugs level charge shots <laughs> of the uh, nice shot Hugo. Yeah, but. <laughs> I've seen him hit a few today. I mean, he's hitting like the guaranteed ones off up throw. All right, so but... this is flashbacks to game number uh, three, where it was basically at 25, a low percent, and then Sebi just opened him up and just ended the game in just dramatic fashion. Reverse Nair? I'm surprised that reverse. Game five. Game five. Oh yeah, this is uh, on par for reverse 3L. So I think I think Funk needs to kind of like uh, Sebi realize, okay, that stage wasn't good. I can try another good stage. Go FD. Or Yoshi's, or Yoshi's. But both of them are good. <laughs> just the call out hop to platform, so he just screws the hacks there. Man, big brain. 
Does it say Kyra Shield? Yeah, they can. Yeah, Funk was actually telling me that uh, he almost always will shield his own lasers. Like, he won't even go for a second one or do anything. He just assumes that his opponent will power shield in the back. And then he's trying to power shield the power shield. Like, he's on that level two, you know, play. I think that's unnecessary. I think power shielding lasers is too hard to do that. Consistent? Yeah. At least at this level. And if, like, you if they power shield your laser and it hits you, you can always react and then, like, do take laser and, like, dash back. Yeah, so, uh, Randall, oh, I think he saw it too late and was, like, half between, like, going for stage and then half between going for Randall. I don't know if he could have made stage, but he definitely couldn't make... What? <laughs> that was the longest tether definitely, of all time. He really could have reacted. Subby actually, oh, Subby actually just kind of figured... Yeah, so this uh, is... Whatever he was doing wrong in the first two games. This is he's 100%. Like applying, he's applying more pressure. He's hitting his punishes. And he's winning neutral. Yo, so it went from getting beat hard to getting beat barely to winning barely to winning pretty good. And this is a blowout. Yeah. Funk just hasn't really gotten anything going. Hasn't gotten any long combos. He like hit one edge guard and like after dealing, having many neutral interactions, just hitting him once or twice. Yeah, it feels like a uh, Sebi's use of um, you know screw attack and then like not waiting anymore, like taking the fight to Funk, has uh, really you know changed this up. And that's is that game? That's game. Yeah. That's the reverse 3-0.